If you wish to place a call on hold in the Cisco Unified Attendant Console, you have a few different options using your mouse. Once you have answered an incoming call, you can drag and drop that call to the Calls in Progress area. That places the call on hold. It also frees up your phone and allows you to handle another incoming call. To retrieve your previously held call, you can drag and drop the call back from your calls in progress area to your active calls area. Another option for placing the call on hold is to right click and select hold. To retrieve the call using the right click option, you right click and select retrieve. It is also possible to place the call on hold using your call control toolbar. To do this, select the hold icon and to retrieve the call, select the retrieve call icon. Another option for placing the call on hold is to do it for an individual in the directory. Look up your user, right click and select hold. This time when the call goes into the calls in progress area, you will notice who you held the call for. Along with the user's name, you can also see their busy lamp field information which allows you to see if they're still busy or free. To retrieve the call, you can simply double click. Another option for placing a call on hold is to place a call on hold using notes. You can right click and select hold with notes. You can use the hold with notes icon on the call control toolbar. Or you can do a right click on the user and select hold with notes. Enter your information, click on OK, and this time when the call goes into the calls in progress area on hold, you'll notice you have a notes icon along with the call. If you hover over this, you'll see the information that you've entered. This notes icon will stay with the call for its duration. If I retrieve the call, the notes icon is still there. With the attendant console, it's also possible to handle multiple incoming calls at the same time. If I have answered a call and place it on hold using one of the methods described earlier in the video, and do this numerous times, you'll notice that the call that you put on hold first is always going to be at the top of the list. If you want to retrieve a call before the one at the top of the list, you can highlight it and use any of the methods mentioned earlier in this video to retrieve the call. Once handled, I can retrieve another held call, and so on until all your calls have been handled.